First step is to make grid lines to use as a guide for the knotwork. Take your rule and a 2H or H pencil and draw a horizontal line and mark out equal spacings. I'm making out spacings at 2.5 centimeters apart, the same width of the rule. Rotate your rule 90 degrees and draw vertical lines down from the spacing lines at the top of the grid. This will make squares. I'm now using a mechanical pencil with a 0.9mm HB lead to draw circles on each point of the squares. Try and draw these circles approximately the same size on each point. These circles are used for laying out the lines to create knotwork. We also need to create circles right in the middle. You can do this by eye, but in this example I am going to show you how to find the centre exactly. Place your pencil tip in the centre of one of the circles then place the edge of your rule up against the tip. Then align that rule through the center of the circle exactly diagonal to the first one and the rule align between the circles. Do this for each square. Now do the same thing on alternating circles with diagonal lines going opposite direction. Now where these two diagonal lines meet the exact center of the square. Add center circles in these points. Lines for knot work are mostly at 45 degrees. Each line that starts at the top of a circle finishes at the top of the circle 45 degrees from it. The red arrows show the top part of the circle. The next line starts at the bottom of the circles and finishes at the bottom of the circle. We then repeat the pattern. Every row of circles will always start and finish at the same location on the circles. So top will always start and finish at the top of the circle and bottom always at the bottom. Next, mark a dot between the circles on the perimeter about halfway between them. This point is where the top of the arch will be for the knot border. Now gently draw in the arch by hand between the circles, trying to get through the point in the middle. Again, this is only approximate and you can alter this whether you want the arches to go a little higher or a little lower as you desire. Now do the same at the bottom. You don't necessarily need to draw this point, but it's just there for reference so we can see how it goes. As I'm outlining here, I'm just showing roughly where the tops of the arches are in comparison to where the circles are. As I said, arches are approximately the same height as the circles, but of course you can go a little higher or lower if design. Now just some finishing touches here. And this is the basics of a Celtic knot. 